Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I had a subscriber who's been asking me for a while to do a tutorial on how to cover a ring binder journal with fabric. And so I'm working on a Christmas ring binder, a Christmas on the farm <laughs> ring binder. And so I thought I would go ahead and do the tutorial. Um, I told her I would get to it as quick as I could, and it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy few months. And so this is <laughs> the first opportunity I've had to do it. So um, what I did um, is I, I picked the fabric that I wanted, and I cut it to um, so that it would fit the whole ring binder journal, okay? And then you want extras so you can fold in on every edge okay and then I took my fabric and I laid it on top of the ring binder journal to see if there's anything that I thought would show through and this had some words here and um, that showed through the fabric just a little so I just went over it with some gesso you can go over it with paint or gesso um, or whatever it is you know that you feel best to use um, you can go over it with that if you don't go over it with gesso, like on this side, I didn't go over it with gesso. And, you know, I probably need to double check that because I did not check the back. Yeah, see, I need to go over that with gesso, too. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and add the gesso to it and we'll let it dry. And you don't need a, you know, a real thick layer of the gesso because, um, you know, you're going to cover over it. But, the gesso just kind of prepares. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Okay, we're going to throw that one away. <laughs> Some ruined gesso there. All right. And so, um, you know, you don't need a whole lot. Just enough to cover up the places where you think it's going to show through. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to cover over these. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me paint. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to paint my gesso on, and then I'm going to dry it with, I don't have a heat gun, so I use a hair dryer. You know, you work with what you have. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll come back and we'll get to the next step. So hang on. Okay, so I have my gesso fairly dry, and so I'm going to go ahead and lay this back on here make sure nothing's showing through it all looks good so the next step in the process is um, just to glue the fabric on okay so I'm gonna close the journal up and I'm gonna grab out my handy dandy Aline's here this is just Aline's tacky glue um, and um, my friend Sarah had sent this to me I used everything that was in it so I like the container so I've just been uh, refilling it so it's just Aline's tacky glue. And let me grab a brush. Okay, my brushes are stuck together. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to put a thin layer of the Aline's on the front cover. Now you don't want to do the whole thing at one time because you know it would take too long and the glue would start drying on you and you don't want the glue to have to be super super thick now you can use Fabri-Tac with this but I have found that the Fabri-Tac tends to show through um, you know it bleeds through the fabric and so with the Aline's I don't have that problem with the glue showing through because I can spread it on really really thin and then it doesn't soak through the fabric. Because this fabric, I want it to be um, the centerpiece or the focal point of the, the journal cover. I'm probably not gonna put anything on it because the fabric is so, so pretty. My sweet friend Laura sent it to me. She's Laughing Dog's Book Nook on YouTube and Etsy. And she sent it to me as a gift. And so I want it to be the focal point <clears throat> of the journal. Okay, so I've got my Aline's on there. And so I'm just going to take, now I've already decided where I want, you know, what I want to be on the front cover. And so I'm just going to lay it on here. 
and I'm going to rub out the creases, rub out any wrinkles or anything like that that might be in the fabric and just lay it right straight down into that glue. Okay. And now it's good and flat and attached. Okay. That feels good. So then I'm just going to continue doing that with the spine. So I'm just going to pull this up and I'm going to actually, I'm going to open it out. And then I'm just going to add the alanes to the spine. I'm making sure that I get everything, but I don't want it too thick, so I'm going to spread it out fairly thin because the Allings is a really good glue and it doesn't take a whole lot of it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull my cover on over and rub it in to that spine. And I'm going to kind of push it down into the creases, you know, where the spine bends. So you can take a little gift card or your fingernail or your bone folder or whatever you have that's readily available to you and just push that down into the crease. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull this back and I'm going to finish adding the glue to the cover. And I'm going to spread it out fairly thin. Make sure you get all the way to the edges. And sometimes if your glue starts getting too thick, you can just dip your paintbrush in the water that you you know i i have this little jar that i soak my paintbrushes in um so you can just dip it in the water and it'll kind of start helping to thin your glue out a little easier sorry if you can hear the tv my honey's watching football games it's saturday football in the south so we have to have the football on he watches every game he can watch. And I watch the good ones with him, like the Bulldogs. <laughs> Gotta watch the dogs. Okay. Alright. So now, we're just going to bring our fabric over. And again, we're going to rub it in to the glue. Trying to get all the wrinkles out. And rub out any creases that there might be in the fabric. Now you can do this with any kind of fabric. This is a thicker fabric. So if you have a thinner fabric, you might have to do two coats of your gesso um, on your book. Um, but because this is like a thicker, like canvasy type fabric, I, you know, it wasn't that bad. Okay, and so we have that. And then, once we've got our whole cover um, covered in the fabric. We're going to turn it over just like this and then we're going to miter the corners. Sorry about the glare off of that. So on each corner we're just going to do a little, tri I do a triangle cut. Some people, you know, they cut in and like some people do it this way. Let me just show you how some people do it. They'll cut kind of in to this way can y'all see y'all can't even see what I'm doing I'm sorry so they kind of cut at an angle here and then an angle there it works you know just as well for me to cut it in a triangle shape so that's how I do it so we're just going to cut that corner and then we'll cut this corner okay and then 
we're just gonna fold our fabric in and glue it down to the inside of the journal. Okay. So again, um, I'm just gonna take my Alleen's. And you know what? I need to sand this. I should have sanded this before I started. Oops. Okay. Hang on, guys. Because I'm just going to take some sandpaper and sand this down real quick. And basically, the reason you're sanding it is you just want to rough up some of the glossy. Make sure you clean it. Now, I've cleaned this, but it's stained a little. So, you just want to rough up some of the glossy so that your glue sticks well. I won't make you listen to me sand, so hang on. Okay, and you don't have to sand it a whole lot. And then you just want to kind of knock off the sanding dust. I'm going to take these out because they're in my way. And then you're just going to wipe it down to get any of the dust off. Just like that. Now we can glue our fabric down. Okay, so we're just going to go along the edges. You can do the top edges first or the side edges first, whichever you're most comfortable with. Put your glue down. And you're going to go all the way across with it. Don't worry if you get it on this because you can always wipe that off. Okay, and then we're just going to fold and tug as we're folding so that we get out any wrinkles or any creases and we get it good and tight so that on the front and the back covers, you know, it's good and tight. Now when we get here, this gets a little tricky, so I'm just going to trim down right there just a little so that my fabric will lay flat and I'm going to take my little card here and just kind of push that fabric up underneath there and then we're going to cut here the same way we're going to keep pulling our fabric in and rubbing it down just like that Okay, and then here, I'm going to trim some of this off so that there's just enough for it to be right here at the edge of this. And then I can use my card again and push it down underneath that so that it kind of looks seamless, but you know, you don't have the fabric stuck over your little metal piece here. And then you just wipe the glue off of your, your little metal piece, just like that, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom side real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim my fabric here. And here, I just kinda try to line it up with the edges of this as much as possible. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and add our glue all the way across. And I let it kinda flow over to the side like that so that you know it gets glue on the edges as well okay I'm gonna come right through here okay I want to show you right here on this edge the paper is raised up a little, so I'm gonna go up underneath that paper with my glue a little so that I can push that down and then we start our fold. Okay, and you just kind of push it into the glue, pulling and tugging tightly to make sure that it's covered. Okay, and then our little card here. We're going to push our fabric underneath there with our card and we're going to trim this piece down 
and lay it down. We need to trim a little bit more off of it. I would suggest just trimming little bits at a time until you get it to the point where you want it so that you don't trim too much and then you've, you know, you kind of messed it up. But, you know, if you mess it up, you can always fix it. Okay, so we're going to continue tugging and, and pressing down into the glue. I've got some little strings here sticking out. That may actually be some of my hair because I shed. <laughs> I shed with all this long hair, but that's okay. I always try to pull it out. Okay. So now we have both the top and the bottom with our fabric turned in. Okay. I am going to scooch to the side. So then we're going to come on this end, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our glue down, and I'm going to put it over the top of that fabric so that the fabric sticks together. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make sure it's in camera. Okay, so we're going to go all the way up and down the side, making sure that our fabric is good and glued as well. Now, when you start to do this fold, I have found that the easiest way to do it is to take your bone folder and just kind of pull this little corner in just a hair, okay? And if you pull it in just a hair, then your fold's gonna look a lot better. Okay, so you just pull it in like that and then you pull this over this way and you just start rubbing it in. Okay, and then you're gonna come down here to this end and you're gonna push your fold in again at the edge and then you get a good clean corner. And if you'll give me just one second to get this pushed down, I'll show you what I mean. Now I'm gonna trim some of this off because we don't need all of this. There we go. And that way, you have a nice clean edge on it. See how the edge looks good and, and clean? And that's, you know, because you tucked it with your little bone folder. All right, and so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna add our glue. My little glue tub needs to be cleaned. Every time I refill it, I rinse it out and clean it out real good so it's not so sticky and gloopy everywhere. Okay, so we have our glue down there. We're going to take our bone folder and fold this in just a hair. And fold. Okay. Fold it into the glue. And then we're going to take our bone folder on this end and kind of do the same thing. Just like that. There we go. Alrighty, so there we have our cover done. So I'm just gonna let this sit here and let it dry for a while. And let me see where we're at on our time. Okay, we'll just cut this off with this video. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to do the inside cover, but with this particular journal, I'm gonna do it different than I've ever done it before. So we're gonna kinda do something new together. So that'll be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a, have a great day. Big hugs.